Colonel guy, he, he's wacko, man. He's worse than crazy. He's evil. I mean, that's what the man's got set up here. Man is fucking pagan idolatry. Look around you. Shit, he's loco. Then you help me. Help you? Fucking A, I'll help you. I'll do anything to get out of this joint. We could blow all them assholes away. They're so fucking spaced out, they wouldn't even know it. Well, I ain't even afraid of all them fucking skulls and altars and shit. I used to think of... If I die in an evil place, then my soul wouldn't be able to make it to heaven. But now, fuck. I mean, I don't care where it goes as long as it ain't here. So what do you want to do? I'll kill the fuck. No, no. Get out of here. I'm gonna need you to wait here, Chef. I'll go up with Lance, scrounge around, check the place out, see if I can find the Colonel, okay? Well, what, what, do, you, what do you want me to do? Damn it. Right. Here, you take the radio. And if I don't get back by 2200 hours, you'll call in the airstrike. <sighs> airstrike? The code is Almighty, coordinate 09026472. It's all in there. Everything I saw told me that he'd gone insane. The place was full of bodies. North Vietnamese, Viet Cong, Cambodians. If I was still alive, it was because he wanted me that way. like slow death in there. Malaria. Nightmares. This was the end of the river, all right. Where are you from, Willard? I'm from Ohio, sir. <coughs> Ohio? That's Trump country. And they stayed rent for Trump. In 2022. You know, despite all of the cheating, nonsense, and illegal, very illegal shenanigans of Sleepy Joe, that went on during that election. Sleepy Joe Biden, who cheated like a dog, they stayed red for Trump. Were you born in Ohio, Willard? Yes, sir. Whereabouts? Toledo, sir. Oh, yeah? I held a rally once in Toledo in 2020 to great crowds. Fantastic crowds. Believe me, Toledo has never seen such fantastic crowds that came out to see Trump in 2020 in Toledo. And also that came out for Trump when I was in Ohio again recently because I was there in East Palestine. They call it East Palestine. Kind of a, you know, kind of a strange name for a town in Ohio, but what are you gonna do? But anyway, they had this chemical spill happen there because of this train wreck. And Sleepy Joe, he avoided the mess like a dog. Like a dog, he avoided it. But I was there, Trump was there, let me tell you. In East Palestine, Ohio, I was the only one who cared about those people in East Palestine, Ohio. And if the chemicals were getting into the air, the water, and into the river. The Ohio River, sir? There. The Ohio River. In 
Go oh, hell. Think of that. Do you happen to know, Will Hart, how many miles there are between East Palestine and Toledo? About 200 miles. 200 miles. Holy Toledo. Haha, <laughs> it's a little joke. Anyways, say, you want to see the love letter that Kim Jong-un sent to me? I swear he's got such a hard on for me. I swear. I had him eating out of the palm of my tiny little hands. I also got these. What? Really, really top secret documents that I got that I can show you. I declassified them. With my mind. They're really, really cool. And really, really secret. But I can show them to you. Because I like you. I like you, Will Hart. Just, you know, don't tell anybody, cuz. But I could get in a lot of trouble, you know? Did they say why? Why they want? Want to terminate? Want to terminate? Like, like, command. I was sent on classified missions. It's no longer classified. I mean, I declassified it just now by thinking about it. So it's declassified. They told me that you had gone totally insane. And uh, that your methods were unsound. Method? You mean like the rhythm method, the crystal method, method acting? Trump doesn't use method acting. Trump uses the Trump method of acting. I don't see any method at all. Give me a fucking break here. I expected someone like you. It came to me in a dream. And I'm always right. You're like an assassin. An assassin sent by assassins. What do you call it when the assassins accuse the assassin? Fake news. And we have to be merciful to those who put out the fake news. Because we do the right thing and they don't. What is it that you expected? Are you an assassin? I'm a soldier. You're neither. You're an errand boy. Sent by grocery clerks to collect a bill. No, wait. I got it. I got it. You're a pretty little girl wearing a little blue bonnet. Holding flyers, sitting next to a well. No, wait, I know this. This one's good. This is a good one. I'm a soldier. No, wait. No, wait, I know this. This one's good. This is a good one. Listen to this one. You're a short order fry cook. I'm a soldier. Excuse me. Excuse me, you're a short order fry cook. And it's like a Tuesday night, and you have a greasy apron on, and you're eating a marinated pork sandwich out back behind the restaurant next to the dumpster on your lunch break. But you have a pretty girlfriend at home named Barbara. So, what do you think? I'm a soldier. You son of a bitch. Yeah, man. Is this stupid motherfucker giving you a hard time? You want? I should take him out back and rough him up behind the dumpster. Get out of here, Obama. I've paid whores. Whores that you've seen. But you have no right to call me a criminal. 
You have a right to worship me. You have a right to do that. But you have no right to judge me. I dreamed that I saw a chicken McNugget stuck on the end of a straight razor. And it was crisp. And it was juicy. And it was hot. Stuck on the end of a straight razor. I wanted to eat it with some barbecue sauce. But I couldn't. Because it was stuck on the end of a straight razor. And I remember that I wanted to tear my teeth out. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I mean, I knew what I wanted to do. Obviously, I always know what I want to do. But as I say, I wanted to tear my teeth out because I thought, what's the point of even having teeth if I cannot eat this delectable morsel without risking cutting my tiny fingers? Because it was stuck on the end of a straight razor. And I want to remember. I never want to forget it. I never want to forget. And then I realized, like I was shot, like I was shot with a chicken, a chicken McNugget, right through my forehead. And I thought, I got the genius of that, the stable genius of that, the genius, the will to do that. It's like lucid dreaming. They call it lucid dreaming that I could lucid dream of a chicken McNugget in my forehead, all golden brown. And it was there, just like that. I was likened to a god. I am perfect, a perfect, a perfect, stable genius. To think of that, perfect, genuine, complete, crystalline, pure person, woman, and camera TV. And then I realized, what about hot mustard sauce? Wooden hot mustard sauce. The good with this McNugget. And suddenly, there was hot mustard sauce on my forehead. And I saw that it was good. Sort of like how Rudy Giuliani had that runny diarrhea running down his forehead at the press conference. And then I thought that some of these lawyers I have but Rudy Giuliani, that they were stronger than we, I mean not me, obviously, but stronger than you, stronger than they, because they could stand that these so-called deplorables, as Hillary Clinton called them, Hillary Clinton, lied like a dog, that they were not monsters. These were men, trained cut rays, these men who fought with their hearts, who had families, who had children, who were filled with love, who had tears streaming down both sides of their face, even though they had never cried before in their lives, even when they were born, who came up and said to me, Sir, thank you for saving our country. Thank you for doing that, sir. Tears streaming down both sides of their face, but that they had the strength, the strength to do that to put chicken McNuggets and hot mustard sauce into my forehead through the psychic power of lucid dreaming, like with a sheer force of will. And then I woke up and I took a huge shit because I had chicken McNuggets the night before. Like I got an order of like 20 McNuggets, but the point is if I had 10 divisions of those men as part of my legal team, if I could only figure out a way to clone Rudy to the hot mustard book running down his forehead in all of his strength, our troubles here would be over very quickly. You have to have men who are moral and at the same time who are able to utilize their primordial instincts to kill, to be killers without feeling without passion, without any sort of obligation to justice, because it's justice that defeats us.
It's justice that defeats us. You want, maybe I should make some pie. The National, the National Cynical Network. Really? On the river, I thought that the minute I looked at him, I'd know what to do. But it didn't happen. I was in there with him for days. Not under guard. I was free. But he knew I wasn't going anywhere. He knew more about what I was going to do than I did. If the generals back in the train could see what I saw, would they still want me to kill him? More than ever, probably. And what would his people back home want if they ever learned just how far from them he'd really gone? He broke from them, and then he broke from himself. I'd never seen a man so broken up and ripped apart. Why, huh? Why would a nice guy like you want to kill a genius? Going in pretty good, huh? Why? Huh. You know? Do you know the demand? The man really likes you? He likes you, he really likes you. But he's got something in mind for you. Huh. Aren't you curious about that? I'm curious. I'm very curious. Are you curious? sleep. 
been dreaming I'm on this shitty boat. Almighty, Almighty. This is PBR Street Gang. Radio check. Over. PBR Street Gang. This is our mighty standing by. Over. is NCN.